Hello, so I'm very happy to be here today. My name is Asi Tonkone. I am the CEO and founder of Code Histoire, and I am on Twitter. You can find you can find me here. So I'm here today to talk to you about how I created an original credit courses platform with Strapi. So let's see the program. So first, I'm going to talk about the origins of Codistois, then why Strapi, uh, then the demo, and Strapi, you know, making it easy to create content, and the future. So about the origins, um, so I am a software engineer for about 10 years, very passionate about coding, and I've been working on multiple platforms for multiple companies, e-commerce, startup, etc. But, um, you know, it was complicated for me to find a purpose, you know, a meaning to my work. And I was very interested in coding courses in general, like, you know, sharing my passion, my knowledge, with other people. So uh, also I started to be very interested in data science. So I decided to take some courses to, you know, with books, tutorials, uh, doing some projects. And first uh, I wanted to create a platform to show people how you can use uh, JavaScript, Python. And today I'm more focused on, you know, data science, but with digital arts. So I have a um, diploma of uh, digital arts too. So both uh, skills are very important for me and for my platform. So what it is about showing, uh, explaining difficult concepts with uh, animations, with comics, you know, with images to explain things uh, globally, uh, visually. So yes, this is the main goal of Colistoa. So why Strapi? Um, as I said, um, I am a software engineer and, you know, I'm very specialized on the front end. For this project, um, I knew that everything would be on my own because, you know, I, this is my, actually my, like my baby and I had so many ideas, but it's very limited, like, you know, I'm really alone in this. So I wanted to use some tools to help me to do quick things, you know, uh, to have a backend quickly, a CMS quickly, and especially to use JavaScript because I know JavaScript very well. So, for the front end, I'm using Gatsby, and Gatsby is working very well with Strapi. I started, you know, searching some information about uh, headless CMS, and I saw Strapi. What what it was super interesting is, so it it really helps to handle the backend very easily, uh, very quickly, and um, you know you can connect to the front end uh, easily, uh, very good integration. You know, two separate uh, apps, front end, back end, this is the way I love working. And finally, so it's in Node.js, I know JavaScript and I know Node.js. Uh, so I knew that if I had to do you know, maybe create a plugin or create a custom controller, it would be easy for me. Um, so yes, this is actually a good tool. I'm very happy 
uh, to use it. Uh, so now it's time, I think, for uh, a little demo so you, I can explain to you uh, why Strapi makes, makes it easy to create the content. So if you search uh, Code Histoire, you'll see this. Uh, colors, a lot of colors, um, some content. Uh, actually, I, I've made some changes about the content. My first version of courses was, was, is actually the guides. So let me show you uh, exactly what it is. For example, the variables and the types. So everything is done with uh, Trapi in the back end, you know, the different types. So this is a guide um, collection type. And basically I have some single types to handle Franks, for example, you know, the different programming languages. Uh, as you can see, uh, there are a lot of images to explain the concepts. Actually, with comic strip, some explanations, and the code. So the code is very easy to implement. This is just a description, you know, uh, field, and a little annotation to explain better the lines. You know, can that can be a little bit difficult to understand. And. Um, so actually I have 10 users because, you know, um, I'm working on the concept first and very soon I will do the marketing. Um, but you know, uh, you can create an account, you know, you can, uh, sign up, you can log in and, uh, so normally uh, you'll go into the profile. So yeah, uh, the dashboard is, you know, pretty empty now, but you have a profile, you can say, okay, I want the newsletter or not. Um, so the actual courses, are only in data science and today you know you can see the program but basically this is pretty empty I'm working on it so you'll see uh, very soon the result but with some images some codes some explanations text everything that can help you to understand for example Python for data science or machine learning and you know what I did is basically all of these uh, things are for example a course type a collection type and about each uh, lesson you know this is a lesson this is a lesson time actually so I'm I'm handling the this part with the back end uh, I didn't want any you know too much front end uh let's say front end complexity so basically um i i can just i link the course the whole course type with the lesson type and i can you know just click and this is a new type you know a lesson type this way, the the platform is very, you know, it's fast, you know. Um, I'm handling uh, also the navigation with Trapi, you know, or uh, I can add easily just uh, a new item uh, and same for the, the footer. You know, so basically, uh, with Trapi, you can add the, con the text context very easily as uh, I showed you images and videos. Um, and yes, it's very, uh, very quick.
also you have a playground and um a blog so the blog this is the same thing basically um what i love is you have so many informations about the content uh you have uh basically the the dates you know published date uh updated dates um and I can really, it's very flexible, you know, how I want to create my article. So let's say this is um, a dynamic component. And in Strapi, I can just, you know, uh, click on the plus and I have a new content for the title, for uh, the text. Sometimes, you know, code and actually this is uh handled with markdown because with a description type you can um get some informations you know for example if if it's a list and i can adapt it when i use it on the front end with react react markdown So for um, these parts, uh, I can add a, a other very easily and add some information about the name, the job, and uh, you know social media. There are some games also. Um, linked to the guides so basically in strapi uh every guide uh is linked to a game so it can help me you know i have categories i have a course category i have a game category and i have some sub categories all handled with strapi and also uh, some static uh, content so for example uh, this one is static basically this is a collection type static collection type and i can just create a new content in strapi and uh, i have also for the terms you know uh, it could be very um you know complicated to do but with trapi is very easy actually you just create a new uh content and that's it add a new a static type and that's it for uh you know i can get some informations from the users so for example if you want to contact me I can get everything, you know, your name, your email, your message. And, you know, in the course, for example, um, I had I had it some buttons like for the feedbacks and everything is, you know, um, I get everything in Strapi. So, you know, yes or no, the suggestion and you see you can add a screenshot. So I can head a little better all the information from for the user. So now I want to talk to you about the future of uh, Codista. I want to talk to you about the future, right? Because uh, this is a MVP and I had to do, you know, a lot of things. So basically uh, the data science courses, are uh you know i'm working on it so i have to add this and the courses will be um you know you you have to pay to see uh the courses so i need to add stripe to enable payments um and of course and of course 
uh, add articles and resources, uh, you know, uh, to the blog. Also, I wanted to improve the user dashboard. So right now is pretty empty, but I want, you know, in this dashboard to able to connect everything, uh, all the of information about the user, about, you know, the courses, uh, the quiz uh, of the user, everything that is super important to help the user to get better, to um, really to finish uh, its uh, uh course of course and um i think uh about the data science course of course i want to add more images and visuals and uh, i want this to be very quick uh for the user so right now it's pretty empty you can see but uh very soon it will be locked, of course. As you can see, I have all, uh, as I say, this is a lesson type. So I have an array of lessons and I can get the length, you know, the total. So I can see everything. Um, and I think that's it. Um, yeah maybe uh improve uh i can improve the home so basically everything of course i get from strapi uh with graphql and i can filter i can sort uh the contents and um about this translation of course, as you can see, uh, everything is basically in English, but I had it some translations. So actually you can see the guides in French. So in Strapi, I have, um, yeah, two languages. The feature is activated. And I get everything uh, with Strapi, basically. So it could be so easy to switch. And now uh, for the future, I need to translate everything, of course. So yeah, I think that's it. Um, Anyway, so uh, thank you. Stay tuned for the future of Code Histoire and you can sign in. You can uh, give me some feedbacks. You can follow me. You can follow Code Histoire on Twitter, Instagram, uh, and you can follow me on Twitter. Thank you very much and see you next time. <laughs>